Well, hello everybody. I figured I would do a sort of different video today to kind of give us a little bit of a break between the Halloween hauls as well as the Halloween decorating with me. Actually, now that I think about it, this kind of is a combination between a haul video and a decorating video. So not much of a break, is it? Yeah, I didn't think it all the way through. Regardless, I have a fun video to share with you guys today because I am sharing a collective haul of my mugs. Tea party. Also, I just wanted to say this video was inspired by the YouTuber The Beauty Vault. I was watching one of her Decorate for Halloween with me videos and she got a mug rack and this is what started this whole entire video. So once we do the haul portion, we'll run over to my kitchen and start decorating and putting up the mugs on the mug rack. The mug rack is from Amazon. Okay, with that out of the way. Let's start off with my Disney mugs, then I'll move into the Portobello brand, then I'll move into other ones I got from like HomeGoods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls, and then I'll do sort of miscellaneous ones that I haven't found a good category for, but I still want to make sure I mention. Let's start off with my Disney goth mugs. So the first one I have is Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the mayor. So one side is his happy face, one side is his sad face, and this comes with a little hat topper, which is right here. Wowee. Look at his little hat. I don't normally use it. And the next one I have is this adorable ghost Mickey mug. It says boo to you. I believe I got this either in, I think it was 2018. My mom got it for me and I love this little guy. His spooked out face with the little tail as a handle. Now this one is a haunted mansion mug. This one says hurry back. And the outside is the damask pattern that you can find all over the ride on the wallpaper. I shall be your host this evening. Your ghost host. This one is a new addition to my mug collection. This is one I got this year at Disneyland. It is a stacked pumpkin with Mickey Mouse on top. The handle is a vine and then the back says trick or treat. The inside has a little spider. I thought that was a fun addition. So here it is up close. I believe that's all of my Disney mugs that are Halloween or gothy related. So let's move on to the Portobello brand of mugs. I have quite a bit of those. So I have a couple from this year. So I'll show those ones first in case you want to try and find them. But I got this cat one. This one is more of that cylinder shape. They're so cute, different cats wearing spooky outfits. Inside is just white. And here is another mug I found this year. It says Happy Halloween, featuring a bunch of different Halloween related items. The rim has some jack lanterns and candy. And the bottom just says Trick or Treat with some more candy and stars. And this is the last mug I found from the Portobello, Portobello brand this year. And it features a bunch of trick or treaters living their best life getting candy. And the inside features some bats. And then the bottom is a jack lantern that says Trick or Treat with some bats. It's freaking bats. Since we're talking about that one, I also have this same exact mug in this cylinder shape. I prefer the ones that are in the more, I'm going to call them upside down mushroom shape, but I still love this one. So now I have two of them just in different shapes. This one does not feature anything on the inside. It's just playing. Then two years ago, I got this other cat one. I love how they're all black cats with pops of orange. Then the rim has cats and little stars. And then the bottom says trick or treat with some stars. Also two years ago, I found this one. This was probably one of my top two favorites of the Portobello mugs that I have. I love how it's, you know, witches, vampires, bats, etc. in frames. The rim has bats. And then the bottom says eat, drink, and be scary. This is the last Portobello mug I own. It features spooky houses. I love it. It's so cool. The inside is crosses and then the bottom again says trick or treat. I got this one in 2017. So moving on from the Portobello mugs, I'm going to show you some other mugs that I've collected over the years from either HomeGoods, TJ Maxx, or Marshall. So we'll do all those ones next. One of them that I have is this one. If you look up close here, you can see there's spooky trees and bats. And the inside is orange. This one's kind of nice because it's like a latte shaped mug. 
This is one I found this year. It says eat, drink, and be scary. It's black and has some fun Halloween elements. The inside's like a pumpkin-y orange. And then the handle features some orange dots. Next, I have two different Ray Dunn mugs that I got from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. This one says Happy Halloween on it in orange writing with an orange inside. And this one says Spooky on it with like a grayish writing. And then it has a jack-o'-lantern topper. The back is just orange. This is another mug I found this year. This one has a haunted house with some spooky trees. The inside is like a buffalo orange plaid. And then the thing that I thought was unique was on the handle of this one. It says happy haunting. Then moving into less Halloween related mug. These ones I feel like are more witchy as well as vampiric. So we have these two mugs that are from the same brand, same shape that is featured different things. One has witch hats and one has spider webs with a lone spider. So I'll show you up close what these ones look like. Again, these ones I got this year and I got these actually from Marshalls, I believe. And I'm not sure if you would call this one vampiric, but I would say it's kind of vampire related because it's a bat. It's a cute little bat. This one I got in 2017. It was one of my first two Halloween mugs and I'm so happy I found it. I love holding its little wing like this. I think it's so cute. And if you've been here for a while, like a while while, uh, at the beginning of 2018, I made a mug collection video and this little guy was in it. So I've had him for a very long time. Got this at Home Goods when I lived in Colorado. I just love his little goofy face. Now this one is truly more vampiric. And it is this one. I got this one this year at Home Goods. I love how it has little vampire teeth and lips. And it's actually really similar to one I'll be showing you here in a second. But my favorite thing about it is the inside. It says, I've come to use your mug. I am a vampire. A cool and powerful vampire. Definitely a little bit corny, but I think that's so funny. And I've never seen a mug like this before. So since we're on the topic of vampire mugs, I might as well show you this one. So I made this in a Color Me Mine Paint Your Own Pottery class, and it's vampire lips with vampire teeth. It's slightly different than the one I showed you, but it's kind of in the same vein, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a good joke. Yeah. So I painted this to be like a lavender purple in the background, and this little vampire has the gothiest black lips I ever did see, and then I painted little, little red tips on his vampire teeth as if this little guy was just got done drinking its little drinky drink. <laughs> I'm so embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple of different stacked mugs that I got from Home Goods. One of them I got last year, which I was very fortunate to find, which is this stack of black ones with cobwebs on them. I love these mugs so much and I just really like the shape of them. I just think that they're a nice shape to hold. I don't know. Am I weird? Do you guys care about the shape of your mugs? Is that normal? Then I also have this stack of mugs that I got this year. I also have these in the cappuccino version. I think I left these somewhere in my apartment. I don't know where, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, this one I got this year at Home Goods, and let me show you up close. As you can see, they feature all the fantastic Halloween emblems that you'd want on a mug. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not missing any mugs, but I'm pretty sure that's all the ones that I've gotten from Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. So let's move on to some cauldron shaped mugs that I've collected. I only have two cauldron shaped mugs, but the first one I got was this one. It's from Killstar, you can still get it. They have different color versions of it as well. Um, this one has held up pretty nicely. It's, it's not dishwasher safe, but I've put it in the dishwasher plenty of times and it's been just fine. This one I like because it has feet on it. I like cauldrons better when they have the little feetsies on them. Then this one I got this year at Target. I couldn't believe Target also came up with a cauldron style mug and it's to me even better than the Killstar one because it features a spider web with spiders. And I really like how Target made it the same color as the rest of the mug so it doesn't really stand out until you're really close to it or you can feel the texture of it on your fingers. I really like that. And then of course, I love how they added feet on the cauldron mug. 
And since we're on the topic of Target, I got this ghost mug last year. They have one again this year. He just has a different expression on his face, but I personally like this one better. I love how he has little zombie hands in front of him going, ooh. This one is a very small mug, so I would say it's probably more for kids, but I love this guy nonetheless. Then I have two different mugs from Polish Pottery. This is one that I got this year off eBay, but it's technically from their 2017 collection, I believe. I love the boo part on it, and these mugs are probably one of my favorites to hold just because of their shape. And it's cool because they are handmade in Poland. Each one has their signature on the bottom from the person who made it. I think that's really, really unique. So here's the mug from their 2020 collection. I thought this one was really cool because of the giant spider web on it. It features ghosts, a black hat, spooky house, bats flying in front of a moon. I think this one's amazing. The rim and the handle kind of remind me of a cobblestone street and I love the little bat banner going around. Same thing with the inside. I was able to find those cappuccino mugs I was telling you guys about. And you can see they're very similar to this one. This one just happens to have the orange on some elements of the Halloween stuff, while this one has orange on the inside as well as on the handle. So I have four more mugs to share with you guys. One is from World Market, one is from Joann's, and two are from Amazon. And those ones are similar, so I'll show them together. But I'll show you the Joann's one first. This one I got this year, so if you're digging it, you can still get it. I really like the spider and the orange splatter, and then it has that speckle pattern on it, or glaze. I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's a glaze. And then the inside is white, and then it has like this grayish black rim on the bottom. This is the one from World Market. It says Happy Halloween. Both sides are the same. And it has a vintage cat in a jack-o'-lantern, and the inside is just black. Then here are the last two mugs I have to share with you guys in my gothy Halloween mug collection. These ones are from Amazon. I literally can't find them anywhere else, so apologies if you're also not a Jeffrey Bezos supporter either, but I can't find these anywhere else. So I'll show you one individually. So here's the first one. I love Gothic architecture. I learned about it in my art history class when I was in college, and this one even has some facts on the bottom. You can see it has all about Gothic cathedrals during that time. This is the other one, which features the tracery that can be found on Gothic cathedrals. Dear my art teacher in college, do I get extra credit for owning these now? I hope I do. Gets extra credit. And the bottom again features some information about the Gothic tracery during that time. Hopefully I didn't miss a random mug floating around in our apartment somewhere, but that is my collective haul of mugs that I have, you know, collected over the years. It's something I love collecting. The only other thing I collect besides mugs are Disney pins. But that's expensive. <laughs> that is all for this haul portion. So let's run on over really fast, really fast to my kitchen so we can decorate the mug rack together because I'm really excited to do that with you guys. And then I also have this tiny mug rack that we can also put some of them on and hopefully we can come up with a good pattern so everything can be displayed beautifully on it. So let's head over. Beat ya. I'm gonna beat you over there. <gasps> lightning speed, lightning fast. Maybe we can start with some of my Disney mugs. Um, let's see what this guy looks like up here. So one complaint I've heard about with this mug rack is because a lot of mugs are bigger than what I think that they think that mugs are. Nope, that was English. <laughs> so one complaint I've heard about with this mug rack is some mugs will clash into each other, so not every peg can have a mug. So we'll see kind of how many I can fit on here as we go along. <laughs> then we have our cauldron mugs. Maybe I'll split up a little bit of the white with some of the black. Maybe that'll look good. Then I brought over my Polish pottery ones. And these ones are smaller, so maybe they go in places where the mugs are a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit tighter. Am I even in frame? I have no idea. I can't see I can't see my viewfinder from over here. <laughs> so this mug is pretty light, and I already have these two white ones down here, so maybe I'll put a white one up here. Then this one has quite a bit of black on it, so I'm thinking I kind of want to balance it on this side. Ciao. Oh, what a ciao. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and start a time lapse so I can finish off this mug rack, probably move things around, and then I'll show you the finished result. Ready? High five! <laughs>
Spooky. Okay, so here is how the bug rack turned out. I think it looks really good. The only thing that bothers me is I couldn't find a mug small enough to fit that one peg up there. But since it's up top, I feel like it's less of an eyesore than if I were to leave one peg down here undone. And then to help fill in the gaps because the spacing on this is a little bit weird if you have bigger mugs, I decided to use my little cappuccino mugs in between, or espresso shot mugs, whatever these are called, <laughs> uh, in between where like bigger mugs wouldn't be able to fit. Uh, that worked out perfectly. So I got almost all of my mugs on here. There was only two or three stragglers that I couldn't seem to figure out how to fit no matter how I rearrange stuff. But I am super happy with how it turned out and it's just like a fun element on our wall now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my spooky, gothy Halloween mug collection that I've been collecting over the years. And I hope you guys enjoyed putting them all up with me. I had a whole lot of fun doing that with you guys. If you guys have a spooky mug collection, I would love to see it. Please share it with me on Instagram at Rachel Mortician, or if you made a video, please share it with me as well. You can DM me on Instagram. And if you're not a collector of spooky mugs, let me know down below what you do collect. I love hearing everyone's little unique things they like to collect, whether it's little shot glasses from where you've been. I don't know, just anything. Let me know. With that, uh, we'll be back to our regular scheduled Halloween decorating next week. But I hope you guys are having an awesome yet spooky week, and I will see you very soon. Bye!